Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys on an adventure with me to the global village in Dubai. As usual, I will be sharing the cost of transport and the food that we enjoy while we were there. Play a favorite movie, laying right beside me. I don't mind when it's just us two. The next station is the Everest. Take my walks with you. We started our journey by metro and we stopped at Mall of the Emirates station to go straight to the bus that will later bring us to the global village. We got charged 10 dirham for the bus and the journey took us about 40 minutes to reach from Mall of the Emirates to the global village. As you reach there, you can see the ticketing counter but we opted for online tickets because they offered 10% discount for online ticket purchase and they also have different rate on a different day so you might want to check that out before you buy. As you go in, you are welcome with this big space to cater to everyone who is amused by the architecture and all the facades that are there. You definitely don't have to worry about the prayer room and toilet because they have a designated sort of building for female and male to use their facility. And after Margaret prayer, we make our way to explore the rest of Global Village. And just for your information, Global Village is operated usually during the colder months and they are open from 4 p.m. On a certain day, they close as late as 1 a.m. but usually it is up until midnight. Lazy Sunday mornings, hiding undercover. And here we are in the Road of Asia section. A lot of shop, lots of snacks and stuff. It's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs Make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head the clouds. We made our way to another part which is right in the middle of Thailand, Korea and Japan. So of course we went into the Thailand, I guess, pavilion and they are selling a lot of stuff from Thailand, a lot of snacks, a lot of food. Wake to a kiss on my face, so I don't need too much. Just 
We couldn't resist the mango sticky rice as usual. This time it is a little bit different as compared to hot yai, but it is just as good. And then we went to the Japan side to make sure that we burn some of the calories before we then go for another meal. And this is the Americas where they sell a lot of Native American souvenirs, clothes and stuff. And of course, we went into the Korea pavilion where there are a lot of K pop merchandise and also cosmetics for women, those who love to buy lashes, contact lenses. The simple joy of hearing your voice every morning, I wait to a kiss on my face. At a certain interval, they also have performances lined up at the big stage. And then we went into many other countries, pavilion, such as Russia, some of the Middle Eastern's pavilion. And they also have small shows in, in respective pavilion as well. And then we went to try another food which is Pieskavika. I believe it's a Serbian, essentially it's a Serbian hamburger. It is a meat patty with a combination of lamb and beef which is also famous in other neighboring countries such as Bosnia. I've got my head in the clouds. It was so big that even when we shared the burger, we still had some leftover that we brought home. You could easily share this between three people if you are looking to try many food there. And then of course we made our way to the floating market. The floating market here looks very nice. It is very clean and well decorated and prepared. A lot of people eating mussels. That might be something that we want to try next time that we go there. But this time we ended up ordering pad thai. Don't need any effort when we are together. We always have fun throughout the day. I do anything to get your attention. And in order to eat pad thai, you have to mix everything the ground nuts and also some of the chili pepper. You have to mix them all together and squeeze the lime that they gave you so that it makes up the perfect. Pad Thai flavor.
there are also like a carnival area where you could go on rides of course you would have to pay for those separately and we couldn't leave without visiting the railway market area this area is mainly for dessert if you still have some room in your tummy you could enjoy some of the drinks the donuts and all the desserts they have here but at that point we were too full so we were just walking around looking at all the nice food and so many people took photos here because it looks like a candy land out of charlie and the chocolate factory My clothes look real good on your t-shirt with the rainbow And I would say that was almost it We were making our way towards the exit But before we get into our bus My husband ended up getting his favorite karak tea So we took the bus back to Mall of the Emirates and then we hopped on the metro to finally go back to our home. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye. When we wake up still on the best side.